Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This look is meant to be my cartoony version, I guess, of Iron Man. <laughs> not a particular version because, like, not the, from the necessary from the films or the comic books. Just a, a mesh of it all, really. Just a, I like Iron Man. I love the idea of it. And I love, um, I love Robert Downey Jr. I've got to say. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my version of Iron Man, and this is actually one of those looks that's been requested a f quite a few times, but over the like a long time, like hit, dotted here and there, there's been the random request for Iron Man, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and the first person who actually requested it was Taylor Love one d I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'll pop your name there, so thank you so much, you're the first person. Um, I hope I did it justice for you, I hope it's just for everyone that requested it. I do mention that obviously this part of the makeup you really probably don't have to do. You can probably just go out and buy a party, like a suit. You can get the Iron Man, like a suit, relatively cheap on Amazon and stuff like that. But I don't know, I thought I wanted to give it a go and I thought it'd make it all streamlined. And yeah, because it's not really a mask. It's so, And I apologise for the crudeness of the body paint. I can't body paint myself. I'm so terrible at it. But yeah, anyway, off on a tangent. So yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. Okie dokie, so to start off with, I'm going to take a plain latex bald cap, because Iron Man doesn't have any hair, clearly, um, and I'm going to apply that. I'm also going to block out both my eyebrows, so I'll pop links here and here to tutorials I've done previous to this to teach you guys how to do both those things so I can save some time up in this video. Um, what I will say is when I apply my bald cap, I'm going to cover over my ears, so obviously Iron Man doesn't have ears, because it's a suit of armour, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to do both those things and get back to you. Okay, so there we are. So I've applied my bald cap, blocked out my eyebrows with wax and spirit gum, and also gone around the edge of my bald cap with um, uh, three to four layers of liquid latex, just so there's no edge. Okay, so that's going to be it for the liquid latex. I promise I'm not going to use any more. This is all going to be done with face paint. I mean, you can do... I, w I was considering doing it with prosthetics and to build up my face, make a full-on mask, but I thought that is more of a mask than a makeup. So I'm going to do it all with face paint. Why not? A bit more simple than I usually do. So, <laughs> make a nice change. So yeah, so I'm going to start on the outline. So I'm going to take a random lip liner or eyeliner pencil. Uh, this is Barry M in number 3, which doesn't really make a difference um, because this is just a guideline really. I'm going to use a red because the majority of the outside is going to be red, so if I did make a mistake I can cover it. <laughs> so the idea is I'm going to trace lightly on the shape of the general mask that I want and then I can colour the inside gold and then work outwards just to get a basic shape going. So yeah, just like that, you get the general idea of it. It hasn't got to be completely neat, just so you know exactly what the shape's meant to be. So now I've done that, I can colour in the inside. So I was going to use a gold uh, metallic paint, like by um, Graftobian, but I think it's going to be way too shiny and real gold for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Snazaru yellow watercolour, and I'm going to dust it afterwards once that's dry with a, um, a Maybelline uh, color t uh, 25 colour tattoo in gold, it's like a cream gold basically, but it's not very thick, so I'm just going to dust that on over the top of the gold and it will hopefully give it that shininess and make it not too metallic. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm going to start by colouring the inside of this area yellow. Okay, so then I'm going to take my um, Maybelline colour tattoo, uh, cream gold basically, and a big foundation brush, and I'm just going to spack all that on all over the areas where I've gone with the yellow and when it catches the light hopefully it should look a little bit more metallic. Okay, so it just gives a little bit more shine, a bit of iridescence, that kind of thing. So now I'm just going to take a Snazaru red watercolour and I'm going to colour in all the outside area here of my face and neck. I'm not going to do my neck just yet, actually. I'm going to do wait until the end, take my top off and then do the body painting part of it. So for now I'm just going to paint this part off. Okay, so now you can see the basic shape that I've got going on. You can, we can neaten it up as it goes along, so I mean I'm looking at this and there's loads of little things I'm going to neaten up throughout this, just, yeah. So now I can work on the shading, so I'm going to use a Grimace Brown Cream for this one, this is in 1001. I'm not going to use a huge amount of it, just enough that I can get some nice shady lines that look like shadow on it, yeah. So, I'm going to, it's difficult for me to talk you through this, but I'm just going to draw the lines on that I want, and then I'm going to blend them out after I've got the shape going. And that's the whole reason I'm using a cream, because cream, after you online, you can blend and smoke it out, just to create the illusion of, like, depth. So 
So there we are. So that's the shape I've gone for. It looks like I've got a really heavy unibrow. Love it. Because <laughs> I've just drawn this outline just where the eyes are meant to be. And so this whole area here, I'm going to blend with a new brush inwards towards itself. And this I'm going to blend outwards so it makes the mask seem a lot thinner. And it's basically where your cheekbones are. And this area I'm going to blend downwards just so it makes this bit here more prominent. Okay, so that's just some basic shading. Yeah, pulling this area forward and this area forward. Okay, so now I'm going to take a um, Snazaroo black watercolour and I'm going to just lightly trace around the edge here and here because I'm going to bring the mouth inwards and I think that's where the mask opens. So this whole area here needs to be quite dark. Okie dokie. It's like that. <laughs> so then I'm just going to take the brown grimace cream again and I'm just going to lightly go around all of the edge now of all of this yellow. Just missed a bit of shading. I'm just going to do some lines going from there to there and then blend them outwards. change the mouth shape a little bit just so it joins up to this line going along here. Then I'm going to take that black, uh, brown cream again sorry, and I'm going to start colouring in my eyelids. Uh, now I was going to use black but I think that might be too much of a contrast especially with this here and not, I'm not trying to make my eyelids the eyes because I'm going to use some contact lenses. Um, so I'm going to take the brown I'm just going to start drawing on as straight as I can this slightly cat's eye, slightly pointing up this block going up and it's going to hopefully act more of a more of a shadow we'll see so there we are so hopefully that effect works yeah <laughs> i'm just going to take the end of my brush and just dip it in the brown yeah i meant to do that whoops <laughs> um and now hopefully i should be able to just do that and it'll give me a nice circle so i'm going to do one there and one there. Yeah, so we have screws. I'm just going to draw a little yellow line through them so it looks more like a natural screw. Yeah. Right, before I do anything else on the face, I'm going to paint my neck and my body red just so I can see how it's all going to look when it all comes together. Now, I'm sure if you guys out there would do this, you'd probably wear like a, I don't know, like some kind of morph suit or you probably got your own costume for the whole I'm a part of it, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to paint my body. So I'm going to use the same Snazaru um, watercolour in red. Then I'm just going to take the black watercolour again and an angle brush. I'm just going to quickly draw on some detailing here. I'm really not very good at body painting myself, so you might have to get someone to help you, I'm sure you can do a more intricate pattern, but I'm just going to do the basics, panels on the shoulders and across here, and then I'm going to do like a mini arc reactor in the middle, we'll see. Okay, so I got a tiny bit carried away. <laughs> Sorry, I, I told you I'm not very good at body painting on myself. I, I, I can't, I'm not, I'm right handed and doing my right side of my left hand and using a mirror, it just, I can't do it. It's so difficult. Um, so I just did a random pattern that isn't really following the movie or the comics. I just tried to, I incorporated a bit of the yellow face paint in there and I used some Snazaroo clown white colour in this little um, arc reactor. I decided to go with the circle one. Yeah, just anything to make it look really 
intricate when it's not really <laughs> i'm sure you guys can do better or if you guys have a suit to wear yeah um but <laughs> so yeah that's the body painting pretty much done i think for now so to finish the look off, I'm going to apply two contact lenses. I'm going to use um, white mesh lenses um, I got from Camelwise.com. I'll put the link in the description bar below. They're basically mesh lenses. You can see through them. They probably blur your, your sight maybe 20-30%, but you can still see quite clearly enough. Um, but yeah, I think with with the fact, I don't want to have my eyes closed. I don't like doing those kind of looks. So uh, hopefully that will just make my eyes look really white. And yeah. So there we are. So it kind of gives that very roboty effect and lifeless look. So kind of hopefully like a mask. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop now, otherwise I'll keep going and going and going and I'll never stop. But yeah, once again, I apologise for the crudeness of this, but I tried. <laughs> I had a laugh doing it though, so I suppose that makes it all right, I guess, doesn't it? <laughs> that's what this is all about. I also messed up the symmetry, but never mind. I'll, I'll go over it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And, yeah. So, until next time. Bye.